Guys, welcome back to part three. Three. So part three of the bus build. Um, in this one, hopefully we're gonna finish this up. So what I've got to do is somehow mount um, the interior over all of my electrics and stuff. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of, uh, lot of grinding bits out and using my rotary tool to, to cut a load of plastic and, and knobbly bits out and stuff here and there and try and get it so that this fits perfectly onto that, which will then fit inside of there. So, and I've also got to do, I want to do some lights, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to do them or not, because there's nowhere really to put everything, but I'm going to try, you know, as I have been already. Um, this is what I would like to call, I'm pissing in the wind. But so far, obviously we've got our steering work, we've got our servo in, we've got our motor mounted, we've got our receiver there, we've got our ESC. Um, but yes, so I'm going to start, I think today, trying to get these seats mounted over all of this gubbins. So I guess it's time to whack on the rotary tool and get grinding bits. Oh, I hope I don't muck this up. If I do, it won't have an interior. If I don't, then it'll look cool. So let's get let's get some tools out and get cracking. And hopefully not cracking. I don't want it, don't want it to crack. Um, let's get started, eh? Right, so we have managed to mount the, the um, steering servo. Um, that's come through there and it's barely noticeable. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, so that's done. Obviously it's on, it's, it's, it's okay. The truck is sitting a little bit high, or the bus is sitting a little bit high when I put this onto the actual, put this onto there. Um, it does sit a little bit high, but it's not too bad, to be honest with you. I'll just show you what I mean. Um, so when it sits in, clicks in together quite nicely I'm even contemplating I'm not even bothering to use magnets but look it does it sits not too bad not too bad it's a tiny bit high but you know something I can live with that um, yeah it's, it's all right it's all right um, so now I guess next step um, is number one I need to work out a way for the person who's who's this is for them to be able to take the battery out and charge it and and such as so and do I put an on off switch or should I just leave it so it's plug in and play hmm I'm gonna think about that but yes anyway I need to continue cracking on with this build otherwise it will never be done never be done and um, but so far um, I'm pretty pretty happy with it um, let's do some more stuff yay right I have had a thought um, obviously that's where it is that I plug into plug the battery into um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove a portion of this back seat and then this will be the size of the um, battery, hopefully, um, that I can use. 115 milliamp, um, 20C to 40C, a 3.7 volt 1S LiPo. So, and this will sit, it will sit quite nicely in the back there, won't it? So if I cut out this part here, um, we'll be able to access the the... The, the plug I guess so yeah I'm, I'm gonna chop up a bit of this back seat Ooh, we're losing passengers well, here goes nothing I guess So uh, it's now a reclining seat. Look at that. So a recliner. Um, no, we'll get that. Get that gone. Get that out of here. Um, hopefully now we shall be able to access the charging port. So that that will work, won't it? That will do. Right. So I have decided I'm going to try and do some LEDs in this little thing. The only reason why is because on the body shell itself it does have little light lenses. I don't know how much light it's going to let through them little bits there they're really tiny look they're tiny tiny 
Um, but I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to see if I can put an interior light in here as well just to make it a little bit better. Um, so for that, what I will need will be some of this stuff. So I've got two lots of wire there that came from nowhere. I'm also going to need something with clampage. So we've got one of them as well. And we're also going to need some tweezers. Oh, and a soldering iron. Don't forget, we're going to need some solder. We're going to need some tiny little LEDs. Oh, we've got little LEDs there, like little SMD LEDs. Um, what else are we going to need? I think that should probably, hopefully, do us. So let's get soldering some stuff. soldered all the LEDs and you just saw me drill a hole there you might be questioning why the hell are you drilling a the hole there there's a good reason for that so the LEDs that, that I've just made I'm going to poke one of the cables through the hole if I can that is there we go one cable goes through the hole like so I can hopefully pop it almost right there yeah and then that is where it should line up to go through the body. So, and then after I've done that, I'll do, give it the old twisty twist and try and get it so that it sits there really nicely. So, I'm gonna quickly do that to the other side and back in two. Okay, so they're now in place. I did put a little dab of super glue as well to hold them in place and the cables so far are going down to nowhere. Um, I also want to do an interior light, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to make like a little stalk thing that will come up, so then it will shine, shine that way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get a bit of plastic card, bring it up from here from the centre, and then glue another LED to that, run the cables down and through. So I'm going to do that. So now we've done that, um, I've got to solder. Um, if you know anything about the DAS Micro controller, um, I've got to solder these cables onto the tiny little pad on this, this side here. So yeah, I've got to solder three negative cables onto that one, and I'm gonna solder the positive cables. So I could solder them onto any one of these uh, pads here, only one of the positive on the um, receiver. So. I'm gonna try and do that. I hope this don't go wrong because this is so teeny tiny. All right, so you can see I've soldered three black cables onto that tiny pad there, and I soldered three red cables onto the positive of channel three. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned or not, but I've also done the signal cable from channel three over onto the um, tiny little pad there on the ESC. So hopefully, that's all of the wiring done. Now I'm gonna stick the top back on and let's give this a little test, eh? Now I guess it's time to see if the lights are all working. So we know that we've got drive, forwards, backwards, left and right, as you've seen before. Um, so this thing, do the lights work? So let's turn this around. I'll tell you what, we're gonna turn this light off right now. Uh, we'll turn that off, there we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Um, here we go. So. Lights, please work, please work, please work. Ta da! We have got lightage, so we've got two headlights on there, and the interior as well, as you can see, it's all nicely lit up there, so we can see where the driver would be. Um, and we kept all the seats, how awesome is that? So, this thing is now officially complete. Wait a damn minute, I'm not done with this, I'm not done with this at all. Look, this is still prototyping stage. Um, one of the things I'm thinking about doing is I wanna make some new wheels for this. So the tires do come off, but one of the problems I'm finding is the wheels that are on here, when you put the tires over them, it leaves flat spots. I don't know if you can see that on that wheel, but it's got a flat spot and the flat spot is encouraging the wheels to skid rather than roll, if you know what I mean. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I've decided I'm gonna make some new wheels for this, both front and back. I don't quite like how it is that I'm relying on a bit of copper tube with a bit of copper tube, um, or brass tube, with brass tube in it, uh, holding the wheels on. So I'm gonna make a whole new wheel that will cover this whole 
this whole thing. You can see I've taken one off there. So I'm gonna make another sleeve that will go over there, which will be a nice tight fit rather than it being a slightly sloppy fit. And then hopefully that will uh, reduce the risk of it sort of bounding along, if you know what I mean. Um, and the front wheels, I am going to make a new set of wheels for this because I really don't like the fact it's, it's plastic, quite frankly. Um, it keeps on rubbing and stuff and it's a little bit wibbly wobbly because the holes are different size to the actual pins that we put in oh my goodness right so let me let me elaborate what i'm going to do so i have got a chunk of this stuff here now this is some aluminium or as we said last time aluminum um and this stuff is 16 mil by 300 mil long and i'm going to throw this in the lathe which is over there so we could we're gonna put it in here guys and we're gonna hopefully make some wheels i just got a set of these through in the post um so these are a set of tool turning tool 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 turning tool these are a cnc turning tool um so you put different tips in the end here and then we can put that on the lathe and turn it from there so hopefully this will help with some of the builds that we're doing and some of the builds we've got upcoming as well so yes a whole bunch of different varieties of, of tip turning tools we right look there you go got them all out put all the tips in them all so this is what i'm talking about we've got left hand ones right hand ones we've got ones here for this is so you can cut threads um we have a parting off tool as well there we go so that's what the parting off tool looks like so after i've made whatever it is i want to make i can cut through it with this uh, and then part it off so yes i got all of them jobbers off amazon about 30 quid but hey I'm gonna need these and I'm gonna use these so just carry on got a new tip holder in there what we're gonna do is face off this factory edge uh, I'm gonna have to do all this one-handed whilst holding a phone so uh hello So this is the old wheel. So you can see why the flat flat spots were occurring was because of these little bits here. So we've got rid of that and I've just made this. So this is our new wheel. I know it doesn't look very wheel-like, but it'll do. I might fancy it up later. We'll see. Um, but yes, this is the new wheel and this is the tire. We can fit the tire over the wheel like so. And there we go, look at that. No more flat spots, so I'm gonna make another one of these. And this obviously places the old one, so it goes over that. Look how nice and tight that is. Lovely. So there's now no wiggle. No wiggle, no wobble. Perfect, so I'm gonna make another one of those. Woo That's the rear wheels done. Now it's time to do these front ones. So I haven't got a clue what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna make stuff. Let's do this. Right, we have just made a set of these. So these are the wheels. And you can see the tie will slip over that. There's no grooves on it like the old ones. And they've got a little hole in it. It goes through there. As you can see, they sit on there lovely. Um, so we've done them and we've done them. I'm going to cut these down just a tiny little tad. Um, but yes, I think that that will improve it. Let's try it. Check it out. So look, we have fully successfully RC'd this tiny little bus. It's now turning a lot better. It's no longer jumpy and jerky everywhere. And then wheels. Ugh. It's definitely made an upgrade. Like I said, I might eventually make them look a little bit nicer in the in the long run. Um, but I think for this build, guys, I, I think this thing is complete. It even has the, the working lights there and the interior lights as well. So this thing is 
Yeah, it's a working little tiny bus. How cool is that? So, anyway, do you know something? I've waffled on and we've done this video now for absolutely ages. All for this tiny little fella right here. Um, so, I am going to end this video right here and right now. Um, and don't forget, hit that share, like, and subscribe so it is that you don't miss the next one. We've got loads of other videos coming up. Don't forget, you know, we've got this lathe there. We've got the mill over there. We've got the possibilities to build whatever we want. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace out.